In our last video, we attempted to depart from Crescent City and head to Trinidad. About an hour away from the marina, we experienced a shaft log failure, which resulted in water coming on board and the shaft overheating. We immediately turned around and got docked back up in Crescent City and was able to figure out exactly what was going on and make a temporary repair until we can pull the boat out and get a more permanent repair done to our shop. We spent about a week at Crescent City and then attempted another departure, this time skipping Trinidad and heading straight for Eureka, which was going to be about a 12 hour journey. In all honesty, we were not very sure about this day as a departure because we really weren't super happy about the sea state, but we decided to go ahead and make the jump. As the months go by, we do realize that we would really like to get down to Southern California before winter sets in, so that did play a role in us feeling an urgency. Even with all of the testing that we did at the dock to ensure that the temporary repair that we did on the shaft was solid, we still were full of anxiety as we got further out into the ocean. As expected, the seas were big and rolly and the ride was uncomfortable in the beginning. Apart from the uncomfortable sea state, the shaft repair was operating well, so we were feeling really good about the trip. Predict Wind had shown that the sea state would calm down throughout the day, and it did take a while, but eventually we began to see sunshine and smoother waters. Almost at the exact same place that we had our shaft failure before, we eventually noticed that the shaft had stopped dripping and was overheating. I'm gonna go in gear. Okay. I got I got I got a good steady flow of drips coming out now. So let's go. Let's just keep going. Once we were able to get the shaft blowing again, we decided to continue moving forward and just monitor the shaft extremely closely for the duration of the trip.
the day truly was turning out to be absolutely stunning and we got to drive by another lighthouse on a rock in the middle of the ocean which was truly magical Trinidad the worst case scenario happened and the motor completely died ah. Mark frantically tried to figure out why the motor would not start back up we couldn't figure out if it was fuel or if it was spark and while daddy bear worked on the motor we floated further and further closer to Eureka just at a much slower pace and we were blessed with some whale action in the waiting. One eternity later. Thankfully, we did have our Evinrude outboard motor mounted and ready to go, and we're able to get that started. At only about three knots, we floated into Eureka and down the river to the marina, arriving late in the evening, but with an injury to the daddy bear's leg. Thankfully, the medical team arrived quickly and got him to a hospital where they were able to get him seven stitches to close up his wound, and he was back on the boat later that evening with antibiotics and pain medication. One thing that we can say is we learned to calm down in an emergency so we can make better decisions and avoid accidents like this which was completely avoidable and we are so thankful that it wasn't worse we definitely want to give a huge shout out to humboldt bay fire for their quick response and for their kindness 
quickly after returning, Daddy Bear went right to the motor to try and figure out what the problem was and see if we could get the engine started. Upon inspection, he realized that it was the carb float that was stuck and we were not getting fuel. And this is where we really want to just reiterate that in the future, we have learned to take a moment, do a quick inventory of everything before we start making any decisions. We are definitely not done with this journey and we just want to thank everybody for watching and we hope that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also join the crew and become a patron. All of our links are in the description below and we hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to sharing more of our adventure with you. And don't forget to like and share.